okay students i'm going to share screen with you yes there is a question in front of you okay have a look at this question the power expended by four persons okay the power expended by four persons to do a task is shown in the table below person a has 50 watt of power b has 60 c has 70 and d has 75 watt of power who performed the task most efficiently you have to tell who performed the task more most efficiently yes raise hand if you know the answer yes students raise the hand if you know the answer who did the task most efficiently out of these four persons a b c and d yes yes come on hurry up nobody knows yes students no one knows about it very simple question pratiksha aap batao yes ma'am do you know the answer hmm so that is person d right that is person d who is having most maximum power so that's my that's why he has done the work most efficiently so answer is d next uh, read this question a man of mass 60 kg climbs up 50 steps of a stair in 2 minutes if each step is 20 cm high find the power used in climbing the stairs use small g equal to 10 meter per second square yes note down the data i am also going to do it here you also do it okay okay so let me do it here mass of man is 60 kg g is 10 meter per second square okay and uh, what is the height through which he climbs 50 steps and each step is 20 cm long so total height is number of steps into the height of one step which is in cm so we convert it into meter by dividing by 100 so we have to calculate the power used theek okay? hai so let us solve this question and see what's our answer okay so 10 another 0 10 meter is the height that means theek okay? hai so we will be using work over time and in this case work has been done to climb certain height so that's why this is mgh over time m is 60 g is 10 h is 10 and time is how much time kitne minutes diya hua hai how much time has been given time is 2 minutes yes time given is 2 minutes 2 minute means 120 second so divided by 120 right fifty watt so the power is how much that is fifty watt Fifty watt is the answer then. Okay, our answer is fifty watt.
Let's see the next question. Let's see the answer first. So it's A, 50 watt. That is the right answer. Read the next question. A machine can do a work of 100 joule in 20 seconds. What is its power? Yes, yeah, solve this question and tell me the answer. Yes, yeah, students, solve this question and tell me the answer. Yes. Yes, raise hand. This is very simple question, just formula based. Yes, Divya. Ma'am, five watt. Five watt, yes. And unit of power is watt. So five watt, simply we have to use the formula. Power is work upon time. So this is 100 by 20. The answer is five watts. C option is the answer. Which of the following is equal with Newton meter? Yes, joule, horsepower, watt, pascal. Which of these is equivalent to Newton meter? Kaun batayega? Yes, students. Yes, Riyanshika. Ma'am, joules. Joule. Yes, one joule is equal to Newton meter, which is a unit of work as well as energy. A factory has eight machines of 1200 watt each. If each machine runs for 10 hours a day, find the cost of electrical units consumption per day if the rate per unit is 4 rupees. Chalye, kar sakte hai, calculate, Wahi, jase hai, bill calculate karte hai, same way, you have to do it. A factory has eight machines of 1200 watt each. Okay, each machine runs for 10 hours a day. What is the cost per day? Eki din ki cost nikani hai if the rate is uh, four rupees per unit. Yes. Kitna answer are hai? Five. Kitna? Five watt. Five rupees. Five watt. Watt. Nay, nay, ye to cost nikani hai na rupees me. Bill nikani hai aap. There are eight machines. Thik hai? और उनको 10 hours रोज चलाया जाता है तो उसका एक दिन का कितना बिल होगा we have to tell that ठीक है these are the options in front of you so let me solve this the data is there let me note down the data so power of each machine is 1200 watt time is 10 hours Okay, and cost is 4 rupees per unit. So energy consumed by one machine in one day. First of all, how much energy is consumed by one machine? Power into time, 1200 into 10, 12,000 watt hour, or we can write 12 kilowatt hour. So first of all, we have found Energy consumed by one machine. So what is energy consumed by eight such machines? Eight into 12, 96 kilowatt hour. Right. Now, cost of one unit is rupees four. So what is the cost of 96 units? 96 multiplied by two. So this is the answer. Yes, Karanveer, what's your answer? Karanveer, kya answer hai? Karanveer, you raise hand. Then rupees 384. Ah, rupees 384. You did by the same method. So have you multiplied 96 and 4? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> So that is 384 rupees. That is the bill for running eight machines simultaneously the whole day. Okay? So this is the bill of bill. If they have said a month, ka bola hota, to you could have seen how many days are there in that particular month. You could have multi uh, multiplied by the number of days. Right? Okay. 
uh, we can now show riyanshika's video so i'm going to share the screen Uh, just a minute. Yes. So see this video. I run it again. Choti si video hai na? Ye nut hai. Thread ke saath pehle kam height se throw kia. Then she is throwing it from greater height. तो पता भी नहीं चला वेन शी इज थ्रोइंग इट फ्रॉम ग्रेटर हाइट तो इतनी जल्दी नीचे आ गया पता भी नहीं चला एंड रियांशिका विल एक्सप्लेन द ऑब्जर्वेशन नाउ यस रियांशिका एक्सप्लेन द ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ योर एक्टिविटी रियांशिका कैन यू अनम्यूट प्लीज Riyanshika are you able to unmute yourself Karo bachche unmute Ma'am in the first case the speed was less hmm. So when uh, she is saying when the nut was thrown from the lesser height then the speed of uh, nut was less and what did you observe in the second case ma'am in the second case it was faster yes in the second case it was faster because it was thrown from greater height what do you think is the reason why did it happen okay so i'll explain the reason so this happened because when uh, the object was thrown from certain height it had potential energy mgh okay so when the height was less it was thrown from less height then it was converted into kinetic energy when it reached the bottom so during the fall potential energy went on converting into kinetic energy so the speed the kinetic energy depends upon the height that is potential energy so when it is thrown from greater height when h is more then speed is also more because more conversion of potential energy into kinetic energy is taking place so is this activity clear to everyone kisi ko nahi clear to you can ask is that okay students is this activity clear now so this was about transformation of energy during free fall transformation of energy was taking place okay where is arush arush raise your hand yes arush unmute yourself arush unmute yourself speak the question all of you write the statement in your copy so first question is how will the force of gravitation between two objects change if distance between their masses is halved show all the mathematical steps this question is of two marks yes what will be the answer we have done these types of questions so many questions we have done so distance between masses is halved what will happen to the force of gravitation who will tell the answer yes what will happen to gravitational force if distance between masses is halved who will tell yes students who will tell this raise hand if you know very simple very simple question it is f is equal to g m1 m2 over r square so if r is equal to r dash is equal to r by 2 r by 2 ka square hoke wo 4 upar chala jayega so gravitational force will increase four times are you finding it difficult we have done these questions the same type of questions कि डिस्टेंस डबल हो जाएगा ट्रिपल हो जाएगा वन थर्ड हो जाएगा हाफ हो जाएगा व्हाट विल बी द इफेक्ट ऑन द फोर्स सो प्लीज बी रेडी विद द फॉर्मूलाज ऑलवेज अगर फॉर्मूला रेडी होगा ओनली देन यू विल बी एबल टू डू द क्वेश्चन 
इसी का और पार्ट था और पार्ट इज वट इज द मास लिखिए क्वेश्चन ये अमेरिका का छोटा सा वट इज द मास ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट दैट वेज डब्ल्यू ई आई जी एच एस वेज फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन ऑन द अर्थ वट इज द मास ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट दैट वेज फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन ऑन द अर्थ वट विल बी इट्स मास एंड वेट ऑन द मून वट विल बी इट्स मास एंड वेट ऑन द मून मून पे कितना मास और वेट है ये हमें बताना है अर्थ पे वेट गिवन है न्यूटन से हमें पता चला दैट इज वेट गिवन टू अर्थ सो ऑन अर्थ द वेट इज 500 न्यूटन डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू एम जी सो दैट मीन्स एम जी इज फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन ऑन अर्थ सो जी इज नाइन पॉइंट एट लेट इट बी टेन फॉर मतलब सिंप्लिसिटी फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन हम मैंशन कर देते हैं कि वी आर टेकिंग जी टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर ठीक है तो ये आपका मास आ गया फिफ्टी के जी सो मास ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन अर्थ इज फिफ्टी के जी दैट्स वाई इट्स मास ऑन मून इज ऑल्सो फिफ्टी के जी मास रिमेन सेम so mass on moon is also 50 kg we can find weight on moon so let us say weight on moon is w dash so that is mg dash mass on earth and on moon is 50 and g on moon is 1/6 of that on earth so 10 by 6 or otherwise you can also use the value 1.63 you can use direct value also of acceleration due to gravity on the surface of moon right so you can now solve this 250 upon 3 theek hai isko points mein kar lijiye convert that will be your weight on moon as well so i hope you are able to do these types of questions any doubt any doubt regarding this question students you can ask is there any doubt students are these types of questions clear to you all right so this is how you can do this question now let's see the next one so next question after this is write down uh, pehle to ek statement question hai three marks ka state newton's law of gravitation derive mathematical expression for universal gravitational constant so after stating that uh, every body in this universe attracts the other one uh, with a force which is directly proportional to product of masses and inversely proportional to square of distance between them after writing this statement you write the formula f is equal to g m1 m2 over r square then by cross multiplication you will write g gravitational constant is f r square over m1 m2 so this is the mathematical expression for capital g that you were supposed to give here now next question is a numerical write down it's of 3 marks a car falls off a ledge a car falls o double f off a ledge l e d g e and drops to, to the ground in 1.5 seconds and drops to the ground in 1.5 seconds you have to find three things first part is what is its speed on striking the ground what is its speed on striking the ground second is what is its average speed during 1.5 second what is its average speed during 1.5 seconds and third part is i repeat first part what is its speed on striking the ground second is what is average speed during 1.5 second and third is how high is the ledge from the ground how high is the ledge from the ground take small g 10 meter per second square this is given in the question take small g equal to 10 meter per second square okay so let's do this question only time is given to us okay only time is given to us 1.5 second this is time of fall so time taken 
u is zero as it is falling freely time is 1.5 second so what is its speed on reaching the ground they are asking now for downward motion acceleration will be plus g g is 10 here so for downward motion we will be taking acceleration plus 10 meter per second square so we will apply first equation of motion v equal to u plus at to find velocity on striking the ground now u is 0 for free fall a is 10 and t is 1.5 second so your velocity is 15 meter per second on reaching the ground we have found the first part okay so we have calculated the first part is that okay first part ho gaya then what is the average speed average speed for the whole journey pehle speed 0 thi fer kitni hogi 15 hogi in dono ki average nikal do wo aapki average speed hogi initial velocity plus final velocity average speed or velocity in this case because direction ka koi yahan pe nahi hai issue nahi hai because body is traveling in a straight direction so u plus v by 2 is the average simply how we calculated calculate the average same formula we are using so average velocity is for the whole journey 7.5 meter per second this is our second part and now the third part now the third part is how high is the ledge we are to find this h or distance okay so for that purpose we can use second equation also third equation also whatever you feel like you can use kyunki hame time bhi pata hai so aap second equation bhi use kar sakte ho theek hai so let us uh, use third 15 square minus 0 square is 2 g h h nikalna hai 15 square is 225 equal to 20 h so h is 225 upon 20 Okay. So 45 by 4, 11.2 something. So the height is 11.2 meter approximately. So the height of ledge is this much. This is the height of ledge. Is that clear? Okay, fine. Kisi ko doubt is question mein? Okay, so we'll continue with this uh, sample paper. And uh, 